I thought a blood moon was a sign of a fulfillment of a prophecy. Well, it's actually a term used by NASA to describe a season of the moon in orbit around the Earth. Okay, so what about the signs of the times we're supposed to know to prepare for the return of Christ? I gotta get ready. I gotta stock up on supplies. And I don't think that's what it means. It seems pretty clear to me. Revelation says we need to read the signs and know the season. What you need to focus on is your relationship with Jesus and what it says in the Word. But there's no problem with being prepared for emergencies. Jesus said, feed my sheep and make disciples. So by getting ready, you go out and you get more people in the kingdom of God. And to be prepared, you develop your own relationship with God. Okay, but what about wars and rumors of war and worldwide financial collapse and chaos of food shortages? These are all cause for concern. Well, you can choose to think about them that way if you'd like, or you can choose to think differently and live differently. You two make it seem so easy. I mean, I look around daily and I get so bent out of shape when I see things happening around me. And I feel like I need to do something. I mean, I'm no faith giant like you, and I know I can't fix the world's problems, but how do I get to a place where I believe the same way you do? Well, I'm flattered that you think I'm a faith giant. And I'm tempted every day to get stressed out it's so easy with TV, the news, the radio, the internet, always obsessing over the latest tragedy. I get so easily get caught up thinking crazy thoughts just because every screen I look at has bad news. So what do you do? It's up to us to decide what we're gonna listen to, all that the world has to offer or what the word says. I've experienced both and what our Heavenly Father has cannot be beat. It really is the offer with the best benefits. So what you're telling me is God left the choice that determines my eternal soul up to me? A good father gives you a choice. If you're being forced, then it's not love. So because he loves us, he allows me to choose his protection, his blessings, and his way of life.